Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. There has yet been another charter bus crash in Canada. This one in Prescott, Ontario involving 37 passengers. 35 of them were Chinese tourists. The other two were the driver and a tour guide. Two dozen people were hurt. Four with life-threatening injuries. And one deceased passenger when a U.S. bus carrying tourists from China on a more than week-long journey crashed on Highway 401 outside of Prescott, Ontario on Monday afternoon. While the cause of the crash is still under investigation, the coach bus was the only vehicle involved. The bus hit a rock cut after it left the road impacting the passenger side. Most of the windows as well as the front windscreen appeared to have been shattered and blown out. The manager at the operator Massachusetts-based Union Tour Express said the group was midway through a regularly scheduled route that began in Washington, D.C. The trip which was set to include a stop in Toronto was meant to end on Friday. The Massachusetts-based company caters mostly to Chinese visitors during the summer tourist season. The CBC reported the driver of the bus had one year experience with driving buses. The Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration's most recent data reported no crashes involving Union Tour Express vehicles in the past two years. But a March 18th inspection of a bus with the same license plate as the vehicle that crashed on the 401 reported no defective bus emergency exits. Residents in the area say accidents are common along this particular stretch of the 401. It's not a tricky stretch of road to navigate but there's a lot of traffic particularly tractor trailers and commuters headed to Ottawa or Brockville, Ontario. The roads are pretty straight, so it's probably just congestion. Politicians regularly propose widening the road from four to six lanes as a solution to the frequent accidents. But that won't fix the fundamental problem of distracted driving. There is also a pretty serious degradation in the quality of truck driving as well. A semi took out the guardrail in front of the resident's house on a winter morning around 4 a.m. He had drifted off the road. When accidents happen on the highway, traffic is often diverted onto the side street that the house is on. What ends up happening is you get 53-foot trailers coming onto this road that led to situations where there was a bus going one way transports going the other on a two-lane rural road. Police say it's going to take some time to investigate. There's lots of witnesses to talk to and there's mechanical things they need to look into. So it's going to take some time before we can tell you the cause. This is quite similar to the Humboldt investigation. They also said then that it will take time to investigate and still no news about it two months after. The inspection reports are similar since the Humboldt bus didn't have any recent accidents either, and that they have to look into other issues as well. They also said that the highway where the Humboldt crash took place is a confusing stretch to drive. Just like they say that this part of the 401 is a common place for accidents. This bus driver only had one year experience driving buses. Although it was never released about how many years of experience the Humboldt bus driver had, the truck driver involved as we all know had very little training. This is another reason why bus drivers, as well as truck drivers need proper training and ongoing training every few months, as well as having seat belts on buses since buses carry a huge amount of people at a time. Roadways that cause a lot of accidents should then be assessed and be properly maintained so that less collisions happen in the same place. This case will fade away and we will never know the cause of the accident. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.